Friday, July 13, 2018, 7.15 p.m., no tsunami threat from explosive event. Hawaiian Volcanoes Observatory reports a collapse, explosive event with energy equal to a 5.2 magnitude earthquake has occurred at Halemaumau Crater at 7.08 p.m. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center reports there is no tsunami threat to the island of Hawaii. Friday, July 13, 2018, 4 p.m., chance of thunderstorms through the weekend. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports that fissure 8 continues to erupt lava into the Perch Channel heading northeast from the vent toward Kapo'o. At Kapo'o Cone, the majority of the flow is heading south into the ocean at Halanui. A small lava island appeared offshore yesterday and was observed using lava this morning. Fisher 22 has no visible activity. The National Weather Service is forecasting increased rainfall with a chance of thunderstorms beginning after midnight and continuing through the weekend. The following policies remain in effect. Do not access the active flow field due to extreme hazard. Be aware that spillovers of the flow channel and other breakouts are possible on the active flow field. The ocean entry continues to produce a lace plume. Take precautions and stay out of the plume to avoid exposure to hydrochloric acid and glass particles, which can irritate the skin, eyes, and lungs. On the weather, the best place to be if lightning affects the area is indoors. Be prepared for interruptions to utilities. Disaster assistance is available island-wide to individuals and businesses in Hawaii County that have been affected by the Kilauea eruption. The Disaster Recovery Center, located at the Kia High School Gym, is open daily from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. weekdays and 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on weekends. If you need a ride, buses run between the two shelters in the Disaster Recovery Center. Friday, July 13, 2018, 1.45 p.m., video of Whirlwind, new thermal map. Fisher 8 continues to erupt lava into the Perch Channel leading northeastward from the vent. Lava levels in the upper channel between Fisher 8 and Pohoiki Road are low this morning but are expected to rise after the next collapse, explosive vent at Kilauea Summit. The channelized offflow west of Kapoa Crater continues to be the main ocean entry at the southern edge of the flow front this morning. Despite no visible surface connection to the Fisher 8 channel, lava continues to ooze out at several points on the 3.7 miles wide flow front into the ocean. In general, the lace plumes from the oozing appear weaker this morning. In addition, a small island appeared yesterday just offshore the northern edge that continues to ooze lava this morning. Fisher 22 has no visible activity. No other fissures are active but many were steaming this morning, possibly due to the increasing humidity in the area. Palais hair and other lightweight volcanic glass fragments from the lava fountain at Fissure 8 continue to fall downwind of the fissure, dusting the ground within a few hundred yards of the vent. High winds may waft lighter particles to greater distances. Residents are urged to minimize exposure to these volcanic particles, which can cause skin and eye irritation similar to volcanic ash. A whirlwind spins skyward on the northwest side of the Fisher 8 cinder cone in this video taken on July 10, 2018. A number of whirlwinds have formed in the area due to the extreme heat of the open lava channel heating the air above it. As the heated air quickly rises, a light wind can push the air column to begin a rotation, which spins faster as it is stretched and narrowed. Because of recurring rainfall near the fissure, moisture and clouds made the whirlwind easier to see for the brief time period it was active. The brown plume is gases rising from the fissure 8 lava fountain. This thermal map shows the fissure system and lava flows as of 6 a.m. on Thursday, July 12. The fountain at Fisher 8 remains active, with the lava flow entering the ocean at numerous points in Kapo'o. The channel overflow from July 9th and 10th created a new lobe that reached the ocean over the past day, destroying Halanui Park and the nearby Charter School. A robust ocean entry plume was active at the location of Halanui Park. The black and white area is the extent of the thermal map. Temperature in the thermal image is displayed as grayscale values, with the brightest pixels indicating the hottest areas. 
The thermal map was constructed by stitching many overlapping oblique thermal images collected by a handheld thermal camera during a helicopter overflight of the flow field. The BAS is a copyrighted color satellite image, used with permission, provided by Digital Globe.